crikey. It's gotta be like almost 90 degrees out here. Couldn't be that I just climbed a cliff, right? Oh. So I promise, I really only want to stop at two more places along the trace before making that turn to Muscle Shoals. So help me keep to it. It's hard not to stop. Although I might have to take a pit stop, who knows. But I think uh, the next spot, we'll see how crowded it is and decide. See you soon. Aloha. In the grinder house, the ruins of which are still discernible, 230 yards south of this spot, his life of romantic endeavor and lasting achievement came tragically and mysteriously to its close on the night of October 11th, 1809. He has the same birthday as me. Of Meriwether Lewis, Thomas Jefferson said, his courage was undaunted, his firmness and perseverance yielding to nothing but the impossible. A rigid disciplinarian, yet tender as a father or those committed to his charge. Honest, disinterested liberal with a sound understanding and a scrupulous fidelity and truth. So basically, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Lewis has a set of uh, mysterious circumstances surrounding his death. Nobody really knows what happened. Some people say he went mad, killed himself. Others say a, a demon entered him, made him do it. Needless to say, he died not far from here and was buried there. He was a legend. Mr. Lewis helped to uh, Clark to map out the, and chart the new territory of the Louisiana Purchase. He blazed a trail all the way to the Oregon coast, which is where my ancestors ended up going. So amazing. I've seen all my life, all the trail and places he explored, because that's where I grew up as a kid. And to come here to his final resting place is, it's a bit of closure, a bit of sadness. Now, Mr. Lewis has always been a personal hero of mine. I used to play as a kid and pretend I was Lewis when we, my friends would play Lewis and Clark, so. Pretty weird.
So that place with the butterflies was the edge of Davy Crockett Park. And uh, yeah, Davy Crockett was another famous person to come out of Tennessee. Man, Tennessee's just loaded with old time legends. There's so many incredible people that came through Tennessee or lived here or were born here. It's amazing. But that park was unreal. I can't believe, you know, you know, my parents told me about this place more than a couple hundred times. Said I should do it. And I never did it. Of course, when it comes from your parents, you always kind of like write it off, right? So, but I finally followed their advice and came down here and wow, what was I thinking? I should have been on this trip a long time ago. It's so beautiful, just gorgeous. I'm happy that I'm here and I'm happy that you're here with me to explore it. Wind me up and watch me choke. So I've been driving for quite a while now and uh, it appears we're getting close to the Alabama state line. That should be interesting to see. Once we get into Alabama, we're gonna cross the mile long bridge across the Tennessee River. And we'll go visit a park. Should be pretty interesting. Maybe. Still I'd rather act than articulate. I've got cracks on my back and my shoulder in my way You see I'm in nature But I do bad things And when you want me Well I'll be gone So talk to me another time See I don't need your reckless I pulled off the road to have a look at this place and to stretch my legs. It's called Sunken Trace. Let's find out what it's about. This early interstate road building venture produced a snake infested, mosquito beset, robber haunted, Indian traveled forest path, laminated by the pious, cursed by the impious, it tried everyone's strength and patience. When the trail became so waterlogged that wagons could not be pulled through, travelers cut new paths through the nearby woods. Here you see three cuts made to avoid the mud into which ox carts and wagons sank, making progress slow, dangerous, or even impossible. Well, let's go look at the swamp and snake infested, terrible place. Who knows what we'll find here? I can't believe that they brought wagons here. That's insane. I definitely see three uh, paths they took. Well, get back on the road. Talk to you soon. Oh, won't you look for me on a different day? I wanna be the one, be the one that got away. I wanna be the one, be the one that got away. Well, there's always hope to keep us going. I still see a white picket fence and green grass growing. 
know, since I've gotten to Alabama, I can't help but notice how much more lush and green it is. How much more spring has taken hold here. And uh, there is a lot of swamps here. It is swampy land here, northern part of Alabama. But it is beautiful. I'll tell you that it is you gorgeous. Well guys, for me, this is where my trip on the Natchez Trace Parkway is going to have to end. I'm going to be turning east and going to Muscle Shoals right now. So hopefully you guys can come along for that journey and uh, stick around. A lot more to come. Hopefully we'll learn some stuff about Muscle Shoals, Alabama. It's the home of many, many famous musicians. And a couple recording studios if I'm not wrong. Well, bad news. I didn't make a reservation for a hotel and I stopped at two motels in uh, Muscle Shoals and there's a, some kind of a fishing tournament going on. And I didn't feel like searching anymore. I'm tired, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drive the two and a half hours back to Nashville. So, yep, sorry, no Muscle Shoals next time. <laughs> down this dream for as long as I've known Sometimes I get to thinking that my life might be wrong I wonder what kind of man I'd be if I hadn't moved away From my hometown and my folks wonder what I feel like today All this shit think it's enough to drive a man insane But my mind has always been like the sky Sometimes it's hard to catch breath If I keep doing this I might think myself to death I've tried most every style around Looking for my thing I Couldn't decide how I wanted to sound I was gonna sing I wasn't a punk or a hippie I was somewhere in between and Now that I'm writing country songs Don't know if it's really me All this shit thickens enough To drive a man insane But my mind has always been Just like the sky before the rain Get so twisted up sometimes It's hard 